Hey, good afternoon. This is Steve Cal 5 juf So, got another video today I was going to do. And I uh, wanted to go over something uh, called band stack operation. What, uh, what band stack operation does is it allows you to preset uh, three different frequencies and three different, in three different modes into one bank where you can actually recall them. For example, if you want to program a particular uh, mode, you can program the mode, the frequency, into one um, location and you can change the mode to another location. So the example I'm going to do today is I'm going to actually program these three into the quick memory bank. I'm going to program uh, the 28380, which is our net calling frequency, our 28400 and 29600, and then same thing on uh, 6 meter. And what we're going to do is, <clears throat> when we program these, you'll be able to, uh, we'll be able to pre-select each mode and then scroll through them quickly. So to start, it's uh, straightforward. We'll follow these instructions, and then what we'll do is I'll pan over to the radio. And uh, I've got something to show you here got a new uh, Power X power supply today with uh, the uh, Anderson crimp connectors on there so that was something I added today pretty nice Anderson crimp connectors um, there's a lot of videos on them they're really pretty simple to use there's a couple of things about the installation that I can show you later but uh, they're pretty nice so to start the band stacking process, what we'll want to do first is we'll want to go ahead and follow the, the steps. So what I have right now is I have the radio set in VFO mode. I've got the VFO unlocked. And I'm going to go ahead and lock it because we really don't need it unlocked right now. I'm going to go back into memory mode. Right now I'm in squelch mode. So to clear that, I'm going to press MCH and that'll take me back to memory or it'll take me out of the the multifunction knob now no longer. We'll just simply go through the memory locations. So I'm going to go back to VFO. Now to enter uh, the three frequencies for the 10 meter band, we're going to enter the net frequency first. So to do that, what we'll do is we will go ahead and press the mode button. Now we're going to select upper side band. Then we're going to press band and enter. Now I'm going to enter 0283800. Zero and I'm going to press enter and band. Now I've just entered that. The second one I'm going to enter will be I'm going to press mode. It's also upper side band. I'm going to press band enter zero two eight four zero 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 press enter plus band plus twenty eight now I'm going to press mode again I'm going to press on this particular frequency the mode will be FM now I'm going to press band enter zero two nine six zero 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 enter band plus twenty eight now when we go back we're going to go to band and the first frequency we entered here's our frequencies right here so you see how I'm scrolling through them I press band there's 28400. That's one of our calling. For, that's one of the the calling frequency. 
The next frequency I have stored in that bank is 28600, which is FM. Then I have the next bank, which is 28380, which is the net. So essentially now, if I want to go in and go to, for example, if I want to change here, I can click here and that will take me to the next one. So now let's do the 6 meter programming. So we'll start off again, we'll press mode, and we're in upper side band, press band, plus enter, and our first frequency is going to be 0, 5, 0, 1, 2, 5, 0, 0. I'm going to press enter, plus band, plus 50. Now I'm going to enter the second frequency, so I'm going to press mode. We're also in upper, uh, this one will be FM, so I'm going to change it. Now we're going to go to band. I'm going to press enter, and I'm going to enter 0, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5, 0, 0, enter plus band plus 50. Now I'm going to enter the third frequency which will also be FM so we're going to press mode FM now we're going to press band plus enter and this frequency is going to be 0, 5, 2, 5, 4, 0, 0, 0. I'm going to press enter plus band plus 50. Now let's scroll through those. Press band, 50. There's the first frequency we entered. There's the one of the frequencies we entered, 525. If I press band again and press 50, there's this another frequency that we entered. I press band and 50 again, there's the first frequency we entered. So essentially what you have here is now we can go in and touch band 28 touch uh, band 28 again, we'll, f we'll scroll through, so these are preset now and they're accessible by pressing band 28 band 28 again and 28 and it just rolls back over now if I go to band 50 there's the first one, band 50 again, there's the second one band 50 again, so it just kind of scrolls over, so that's what they call uh, band stacking and uh, it's referenced in the manual, uh, and it's got some pretty good illustrations, but uh, that's pretty much uh, the main thing I was going to show you. I wanted to show you a couple other things about how I use the radio, just so you kind of can see some things. So a lot of times what I'll do is I will work their local repeaters, and I, I have those all programmed in memory locations. So no big deal here. But if I want to, for example, go to, uh, let's try to go to one of those bands. So I'm going to go to 28, and guess what? Now we're back into our pre-selected settings. So what I did was I went from VFO mode over to 10, uh, 10 meter. So what I'll do next is, uh, one of the things I'll, I can do is I can adjust my power, and I'm on upper sideband 28400 and to do that you just press the F M list and you go over to where it says power and right now I've got it set to 5 watts and what you'll see is when I adjust it I can adjust it all the way up to 100 all the way back down we ran the net last night, I ran 5 watts, so we, we did just fine on that, 5 watts. Now, when I'm done adjusting, to clear this, because right now you, you're, you're basically stuck there, just press MCH, and that'll, take you, that'll clear that. Uh, the other thing is the mic gain, and you can, uh, I'm going to adjust that. I like to run that about 65. That seems to do pretty good and once we're done with that and we can also scroll through here and look at some other options in the FM list uh, 
noise blinker on and off auto gain control we normally leave that to auto uh, digital noise reduction right I've got that set to one of my hot buttons down there uh, monitor basically when you press monitor that allows you to hear your voice uh, when you key up on the radio for example if I make a call here KI5 Oops. let me turn it on KI5JUF testing we got a lot of background there. Okay, I'll tell you that. I may have the mic gain turned up a little too high, and it's it's got feedback too because the microphone's closed. So I'm going to turn the monitor off. Uh, what else is in here? Um, RF power, mic gain, squelch level. So those are just some settings there that we go through, but um, another thing, uh, I think we're getting pretty close to the end of the video here, but yeah, just the main thing, this is quick memory banks, so again, if you press 28, you can scroll through your pre-programmed memory locations, and it just makes it a little quicker, you can go in and, you know, because a lot of times you'll be working a repeater or something, and you'll want to you know you might want to go over to HF because you hear some skip coming in on the CB or something you may want to switch over and you can just simply do that um, again just band 28 and it takes you right there band 28 again there's your other preset band 28 again and there's your there's your your last one and then same thing with 50 and uh, that's pretty much it so anyway that's the video hope you enjoy it uh, it's called band stacking and it's a pretty cool feature um, so anyway hope you enjoyed the video this is KI5JUF this is Steve and have a good day 73